I want to be called Mystique. Damn, I wanted to be called Mystique. <laughs> well, tough. I called it. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I'm way more mysterious. Welcome to Series Pulse, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies starring Jennifer Lawrence. We hope you will enjoy this list. Please let us know your favorites in the comments, and subscribe if you don't want to miss more fun videos like this. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Number 10, don't look up. What Mindy is trying to say is that there's a comet headed directly towards Earth. And according to NASA's computers, that object is going to hit the Pacific Ocean at 62 miles due west off the coast of Chile. Written and directed by Adam McKay, Don't Look Up is a 2021 apocalyptic political satire black comedy film starring Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio. With the massive Dibiaski comet rushing towards an unprotected Earth on an apocalyptic crash course, Michigan State University astronomers Dr. Mindy and his doctorate student Kate present their alarming results to the White House. With fewer than six months until the unparalleled planet killer rips through our atmosphere and annihilates all life on Earth, it's up to U.S. President Orlean and her complacent staff to inform the public and possibly save humanity. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I talk about the discovery and you talk about how urgent it is that we take action. How do we say it? Number nine, The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part One. But I'm in District 8, where the Capitol just bombed a hospital filled with unarmed men, women, and children. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 is a 2014 dystopian sci-fi war film directed by Francis Lawrence, starring Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, and Woody Harrelson. Katniss wakes up in the complex beneath the supposedly demolished District 13 after being rescued from the catastrophic Quarter Quell. Her home, District 12, has been destroyed, and Peta Malark is now President Snow's brainwashed captive. At the same time, Katniss discovers a covert rebellion rising throughout Pan Am, a movement that would position her at the forefront of a plot to overthrow Snow. He's doing this because I'm the Makiche. He's punishing Peta to punish me. No. Katniss. Don't make me do this! Number 8, Causeway. So you drop shit, what's that about? You still have a few glitches from the accident. So that's what the doctor for fixing it? No, I mean, I'm fixed. Directed by Lila Negebauer in her directorial debut, Causeway is a 2022 psychological drama film starring Jennifer Lawrence, Brian Tyree Henry, and Linda Emmond. Lindsay, a U.S. soldier, suffers a traumatic brain injury due to an IED explosion in Afghanistan, forcing her to return home. Itching to return for redeployment, she struggles to readjust to daily life with her mother. Her doctor is hesitant to sign her release to return since he believes trauma is the reason for her depression. As she progresses through therapy, she meets James, who has also suffered physical and emotional trauma from a car accident. So, Adamin, Cymbalta, Depakote, Vicodin, and a brain injury. Number seven, The Hunger Games. You need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. No. Go find mom. No. Grim, go find mom. I know. No. So sorry. No. Go find mom. No. Grim, leave. Go find mom. No. 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 The Hunger Games is a 2012 dystopian action film directed by Gary Ross. The film stars Jennifer Lawrence and Josh Hutcherson. The capital of Pan Am maintains control of its 12 districts by forcing them to select a boy and a girl, known as tributes, to participate in a nationally televised event known as the Hunger Games. Every civilian must stand by and watch as the kids fight to the finish until only one is left. On a battlefield where she must weigh life against love, Katniss Everdeen has nothing to rely on but her hunting skills and sharp senses. Some peacekeepers. Of course you are. Well, like you don't sell to peacekeepers. No. Not today. It was the first deer I've seen in a year. Now I have nothing. Okay. Number six, American Hustle. My husband, but just let me badmouth my husband for a second. He just thinks that he knows everything, and he's so full of shit, he's such a liar. He thinks that I'm stupid, but I'm not stupid. Directed by David O. Russell, American Hustle is a 2013 historical black comedy crime film starring Christian Bale, Amy Adams, Bradley Cooper, Jeremy Renner, and Jennifer Lawrence. 
Irving Rosenfeld is a loan shark who engages in forgery and scamming people, but things change drastically when he falls for fellow fraudster Sidney Prosser. Irv and Sidney are caught red-handed by FBI agent Richie DeMasso and forced to work undercover as part of DeMasso's sting operation to take down a New Jersey mayor. Meanwhile, Irv's jealous wife might be the one to send everyone's world crashing down around them. Yes, I wanted huh? to hurt you, but how do you think that I feel all day when you leave me alone? All day and all I've ever wanted you to do is love me. Number five, Winter's Bone. It looked to me like you did. Don't you let me hear that's a story getting around. I don't talk about you, man. Ever. Winter's Bone is a 2010 American coming-of-age mystery drama film directed by Deborah Granick and stars Jennifer Lawrence. With an unresponsive mom and a criminal dad, Ree Dolly tries her best to run the family and care for her two younger brothers. Ree embarks on a dangerous journey to find her father after learning from the sheriff that he placed their home up for bond and then vanished. Her entire family's destiny is now in her hands, so Ree defies her renegade kin's code of silence and risks her life to find out what happened to her father. You go straight to hell, you Sonny and Ashley will die living in a cave with me and Mama before they spend one night with you. Number four, X-Men First Class. And we were thinking, you should be Professor X and you should be Magneto. Exceptional. Based on the X-Men characters appearing in Marvel Comics, X-Men First Class is a 2011 superhero film directed by Matthew Vaughn and starring James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, and Jennifer Lawrence. During the height of the Cold War in the early 1960s, a mutant named Charles Xavier finds a fellow mutant named Eric Lenscher. Despite their different backgrounds, Charles grew up in a rich household while Eric lost both parents at Auschwitz. The two become good friends. As the world approaches nuclear Armageddon, Charles and Eric join four forces with other mutants to rescue mankind. A situation, however, soon drives the two apart. Proud, or is that only with pretty mutations or invisible ones like yours? But if you're a freak, you better hide. Oh, you're being ridiculous. Number three, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Tell us what you really think. Penem today, Penem tomorrow, Penem forever. The Hunger Games Catching Fire is a 2013 dystopian science fiction action film directed by Francis Lawrence, starring Jennifer Lawrence and Josh Hutcherson. Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malark realize that they must perform a quick turnaround and launch a victory tour after safely returning home following their remarkable triumph in the 74th annual Hunger Games. Katniss senses an uprising developing as she and Peter travel across the districts. President Snow, on the other hand, proves that he remains very much in charge when word of a cruel change in the rules for the upcoming 75th annual Hunger Games arrives. She wasn't just my ally, she was my friend. I see her in the flowers that grow in the meadow by my house. Number two, Silver Linings Playbook. But then people were getting in fights in the parking lot at work and in the bathroom. And the boss called me into his office. Written and directed by David O. Russell, Silver Linings Playbook is a 2012 romantic comedy drama film starring Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence. Pat eventually moves in with his parents after losing his job and marriage and spending time in a mental hospital. His parents would be content if only he shared their passion for the Philadelphia Eagles, but he wants to start over and get back together with his wife. When Pat meets Tiffany, she offers to help him get back in touch with his wife in exchange for him doing something very important for her. I want you to remember everything. I want you to remember all of the good stuff that we have here. Of course I do. Just check in. I gotta go find Veronica. Hi, good evening. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2. I couldn't stop you if you wanted to come. Hawthorne, Everdeen, come meet your new unit. The Poker House. Baby, don't you read the paper? This is the ladies' conference championship in the guise of an ass whooping of biblical proportions. Like crazy. I didn't go through your phone, I walked over there and your messages were out. It's not that hard. My messages were out? Yeah, I could see them. Number one, X-Men Days of Future Past. If I see so much as a screw move, I will jam this into your throat. How did you find me? You taught me well. 
It's been a long time since we were this close. Based on the Marvel Comics superhero team, X-Men Days of Future Past is a 2014 superhero film directed by Brian Singer, starring Hugh Jackman, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, and Jennifer Lawrence. Dr. Bolivar Trask, convinced that mutants represent a threat to mankind, creates the Sentinels, massive robotic weapons that can identify a mutant gene and zone in on that person. With mutants on the verge of extinction, Wolverine attempts to travel back in time and unite the X-Men of yesteryear to change a critical point in history and thus save their future. I made it up. All of it. <laughs> there is no special mission from Coin. There's only my plan. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments below.